Our video today will cover setting up the scanner in ReadIRIS 17. Before we get into the actual setup, be aware of these options. Click on the ReadIRIS icon, Advanced Settings, and you can tell the software to automatically rotate the pages or straighten skewed pages. To set up the scanner, click the down arrow. And while the user manual does say to go to Settings first, I prefer to use Select Source. This tells you immediately if there is a problem. If this screen were completely blank or the only entry in there was an item that began with WIA, then the software that came with your scanner probably is not installed. Take note that ReadIRIS does not load drivers. The software that came with your scanner is the source of those drivers. So here we have a Canon D1500, which is connected wirelessly. The rest of these are um, USB. And this WIA driver is what Windows loads when it detects a uh, scanner plugged into the computer. Most often, USB connected scanners will have the word Twain after it and uh, Wi-Fi or Ethernet scanners will have the word LAN or NET after it. So we'll go ahead and select the Canon scanner and choose Select. Now, when we go to Settings, we have some options. Any model that includes the phrase User Interface is going to pass the scan request over to the driver's uh, interface. If it were we chose the universal twain other models. Then this changes to whatever format you want from custom. You can choose letter or A4, which is what I'm going to choose here. The choice of whether you use the automatic document feeder, ADF. And if available, uh, a duplex so that you could scan both sides at the same time. So I'm going to set this to Twain Other Models User Interface, click OK, and click on Scan. So we're using the Canon User Interface. Let me drag this into the screen. And there are some advantages to this. Uh, tell it to use the glass. Um, that's fine, that's fine. And then we'll click on Preview. And we'll wait for it to scan through over the Wi-Fi connection. The reason it can be advantageous to use the uh, Canon interface is that you can crop the image. So now that it's been cropped, we'll click on Scan, and it'll pass the scan back to Read Iris. Most user interfaces, typically provided by uh, Canon, Brother, um, Epson, and a few others, uh, have this cropping feature. Just waiting for it to arrive. So in that case, it did not rotate. So we'll just go ahead and tell it to do so. And here in this, what I'd be interested in are these box sizes. So now we'll come back in, go back to the settings. Notice that I'm using the universal Twain Other Models or Twain Other Models user interface. That will work with any scanner. These scanner models are profiles to use with that driver that we selected in Select Source. Now I'm telling it that I want Read Iris to control it. I'm not going to use the ADF. 
300 is fine in color. Click OK. Scan. And it'll scan, be scanned directly into Read Hours. So again, we have the image. Some other things to be aware of in the settings screen. I opted not to use a document feeder, though I could have. But if you only have a flatbed scanner, then you can set an interval so that when you scan, it gives you time to replace the pages before the next scan automatically begins. However, notice if this is checked, the ADF is uh, not available anymore. So these two settings are mutually exclusive. So that's about all there is to it. Uh, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.